Hey guys, my name is Vlad and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever struggled to keep your notes organized or felt like your ideas all over the place? Well, I've got a game changer for you. It's called Obsidian. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it and what you can do with Obsidian. I recommend you watch this video till the end because this tool is really useful and you have to know how to use it. If you are ready, then let's get started. Obsidian is a free note-taking app that's all about linked notes. Imagine your ideas as a web where everything connects. That's what makes Obsidian so powerful. It is perfect for students, professionals, and anyone who wants to keep track of their thoughts in an organized way. I like Obsidian because it lets you link related notes together it supports Markdown. You don't need the internet because notes are stored locally. And there are tons of plugin and customizations. And it's so simple and easy to use. Plus, it has cross-platform support. So you can use it in your computer, on your mobile phone, and so on. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Obsidian. All right, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is download Obsidian from their official website. Open obsidian.md, then click on download link, and you will see available options. By default, the website will try to recognize your operation system and gives you the right file. In my instance, it is Linux, but for you, it could be Windows or Mac. After you install it and run, you will be able to see this screen. At the first screen, we have to create Vault. Vault is basically the main folder of our node. You can create different Vault for your work, for your home, for your study. But I would recommend you to keep everything together. Give the name for the Vault and location where you will store the files. And then click the Create button. And here we go, this is the Obsidian. At the left side bar, we will have all our nodes. Let me create one by clicking this icon. Then we create our first note. Okay, my first note. As you could see, the interface is really simple. If you ever use Notepad, you will be able to use Obsidian. Obsidian supports MD format, so you can use MD format here. Okay, after I have created my first note, I would be able to connect it with another note. All you need to do, open two brackets. Then write the name of the document, if it's already there, or if it's new one, it doesn't matter. Then click on that link, and Obsidian will create for you the document if it's not existed. In my instance, it's goals of 2025. Let me add some, some goals here. As you could see, I can use Markdown syntax here. If you're not familiar with Markdown, don't worry, I will share with you simple syntax under the description for this video. Once you finish with your note, you will be able to see all the links that link to this document. For example, just clicking top right icon, links, as you can see, all the links, and you can use it to navigate between the documents. Obsidian also supports tags. So basically you can use tags or folders to categorize your notes. You can use them to quickly find related notes. At the left side bar, you can use the search and you can search for the tag and you will find all the documents that has that tag. Another simple but really powerful feature. Just to remind you, to create the link, you have to use two brackets and then you can select the existing document or create a new one. If you want to see the connection between nodes, click the link at the left side bar, open graph view, and you will be able to see the connection between your nodes. As you could see, it's really, really powerful. You can use this graph to navigate between nodes. There is no limitation. You can create as many nodes as you like. If you want to create a node, just simply click the link with the pencil at the left sidebar on the top. To delete the node, use right click of the mouse, then select delete from the dropdown. Another feature that I like in Obsidian is a canvas. Basically, you can create visual representation of your information. You can put the images here, you can put the graphs, you can put articles, and you can put your own notes. 
for instance, if I have uh, my goal for the year, I could bring everything together to the canvas and it will be so easy to see all of these stones together. I really believe it is must-have feature for students. It is only a small portion of things that you can do with Obsidian. You can customize this application the way you like. You can change the theme, you can change the default settings, you can turn on some useful functionality, for example, spell checker, calendar, you can change the font size and style, you can change so many things here. There are also core plugins and community plugins available there. I would probably make another video about plugins because there are so many things to cover. However, if you have time, please explore. You could find here something really useful. Okay, the last part of this video, I'm going to show you a few simple functions that you have to be aware of. All the things that you are going to do at the left sidebar will reflect on your files. Each node represents one file. So if you are going to remove it, or if you are going to rename it, be sure that it will be reflected inside the folder where you keep your vault. You can organize your note in the folder. You can have as many folders as you like. You can move files around. You can create connections between folder. Basically, you can organize your folder structure the way you like. And that's probably it. Please let me know if you struggle with something. I will try to help you. That's it. Maybe it could seem that this tool is so simple, but believe me, it's so powerful and I recommend you to try it for a month and you will see what possibility it gives for you. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. Please click like and share your feedback and comments below. Watch my other videos because they are really useful. And don't, for don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I would like you vote for next video about Obsidian. Would you like to know how to synchronize Obsidian wallet through all the devices? Or you want to know how to connect large language model that you store in local computer to Obsidian? One or two. Okay, that's it. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.